where does the journey really end for all of us? Um, no one makes it out of here alive. A lot of people have experienced a lot of loss in the last couple years. I'm no different. So initially when I got together to write this with my friend John Knight, who is a monster smash songwriter, John Knight songs, they get me every time. I showed up and he had a title called Somewhere in the Sunshine. He was fixing to write a beach song. Somewhere in the Sunshine, man. Flip flops, tequila, done. And we could have written the hell out of that. I was in a place, in a moment, um, because of some of those losses, where when he said Somewhere in the Sunshine, it instantly kicked on in my head. That's where I like to think those people are. There's a lot of darkness in this life that we all fight and struggle through. I don't think it's dark anymore after this. And so, great writer who he is, abandoned all those things he had and said, yes, that. And we wrote Somewhere in the Sunshine from the perspective of that person that I lost or you lost. It's them singing to us, them healing so us. you cry for me, cause I'm just fine. I'm somewhere in the sunshine. Soaking up a blue sky While that river rolls by Smiling on the bank As we speak, that has not been released yet. I've played it once at the Grand Ole Opry, acoustically. And I got more DMs about this song and where they could find it. I think it transcends the song. Every one of them was like, it reminds me of my mom, it reminds me of my dad, it reminds me of my brother. The ending is so important to me. That's when it gets really personal and raw. Close your eyes, lift your head, feel the sun on your face. Somewhere in the sunshine. And then you're both in the sunshine in that moment, so I, I don't know, I just really, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. I just, I just want people to hear it and to, uh, See if it blesses them. Feel the sun on your 